What's up, buddy? It's like you're looking for a lubies. What's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? What's going on? Looking for a luam platter? Hang in there, man. We're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> what the hell? I thought this was a lubies. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting old, which makes me feel good about this audience. That's my people. <laughs> oh, shit, half of you don't know where the hell you are right now, so it's cool. I had a medical experience at a show once, so now I have to ask this every time I perform. We got any doctors here tonight? Okay. Um, we got anyone that calls themselves a doctor, but they're just a chiropractor? All right. <laughs> Don't all at that. They're not real. <laughs> we got anyone that went to medical school to become a doctor, found it too difficult, so now they're just a dentist? <laughs> we got anyone here that tried their hand at stand-up comedy, found it soul-crushing, so now they just pour, perform once every six months at the Addison Improv on a Tuesday night? That's me. <laughs> oh, just me. Oh, just me. I'm the only one. Thanks a lot for being allies, Addison. I do love performing comedy because it's live. You never know what's going to happen. Never know. I was at a show, and right before I went on stage, another comic comes up to me. He's like, hey, man, after the show, can you help me score with some ecstasy and escorts? That's a tall order, bro. I'm a mid-level comic in the fourth-rated market. Best I can do is Benadryl and back rubs. <laughs> so we did. Man, we got relaxed. Took a nap, woke up, went down to the Arboretum, and we didn't sneeze once. <laughs> Security guard came up. She's like, are you guys on drugs? I'm like, yeah, maximum daily recommended dosage, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I mentioned the Arboretum. You might not know what that is. Uh, it's kind of like a Bucky's, but with a shit ton of flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. If you don't know what a Bucky's is, it's uh, kind of like a Walmart, but with a shit ton of clean restrooms. And brisket. And crosses. That's a weird combination, Bucky's. You trying to scare away a redneck vampire? <laughs> when I first moved to Dallas, man, this old timer came up to me. He's like, hey, man, welcome to Dallas. You got to get yourself over to Bucky's and get some beaver nuggets in you. I didn't know if he was flirting with me or, or threatening me or both. I was confused. I was like, what kind of place is it? He got pissed. He's like, it's not a place. It's an experience. It's a gas station. Settle down. Yeah, it has a mascot. It's cute. Calm down. Dallas is also the first place I've ever lived where strip clubs had all-you-can-eat buffets. That's weird. I've never seen a half-naked woman and been like, mmm, that's good. But damn it, it's missing something. Oh yeah, chicken wings. <laughs> By the way, if you own a strip club, I don't know why I looked at you, but you do got a strip club owner vibe. You look like you like manage the day shift, I'm just saying, you're getting that vibe. If you own a strip club and it has an all-you-can-eat buffet and you don't call it titties and tater tots, You're missing out. <laughs> At least you're missing out on a good jingle, right? <laughs> Don't worry, ladies. I won't tell you what that is. <laughs> My mom hates that I do comedy. She hates it, man. She's like, I don't like you doing that comedy. I saw one of your skits. I hate when she calls it that. It's so demeaning. I saw one of your skits. It's called Art Bitch, okay? <laughs> She's like, you cuss too much on stage. You need to be a clean comic. You need to be more like that Bill Cosby. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> okay, Mom. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. My mom told me. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I like you. You're cool. Here we go. I like you so much. 